got one? Oh, it's so tiny. Good afternoon. We've decided because we have not gone hiking in a while that we are going to go hiking today. We don't want to drive a long way, so we're going to go right down the road to Table Rock. Raya has been super grumpy today. Um, so she hasn't napped or anything. We're just going to take her and hope it goes okay. <laughs> That's where we're going, right there. Table Rock. Look how many people are here. Too many people for a trail. Okay, we're at the trailhead. There are a lot of people here and I'm wearing Raya back here. She's my backpack today. Seven million years ago, a volcano about 24 miles from the present day Table Rocks erupted. A flow of lava hundreds of feet thick filled much of the valley. So pretty much um, this, it, the like table it. rock, the plateau that we're going up onto, it's made from uh, like volcanic ash from ancient Crater Lake, which is pretty cool. Ash. Volcanic what? Rock. Volcanic rock. Look how beautiful these wildflowers are. Lots of flowers. We have not been hiking in a really long time, so I don't know how I'm going to do on this trail, and it's pretty steep. Plus, I have a pretty heavy backpack on. I'm not sure what these are that are on this tree. They're everywhere. There, there. Raya fell asleep on my back back here. And so we put up the little sun thing over her head because while it is not too hot out today, it's like almost 70 degrees. Uh, it's sunny, so she doesn't have hair. I didn't want her to get sunburned on the top of her head. So yeah, she's quite comfy back there. Blaine, what's your feeling right now? I feel like this already happened. He's got deja vu. It's break time. Luckily, they have these convenient benches every once in a while. And a rock. And a rock. <sighs> I don't know how far we've gone so far, how much longer we have, or how much steeper this trail is going to get. Hopefully we are halfway. We're tired, getting tired. We better have a big sense of accomplishment when we get to the top of this thing, because it is steep. It's a very pretty spot with all the trees right here. Madrone trees. You can tell they're madrones because see how the bark is missing? The trees are really smooth. Madrone trees. I'm super out of breath, because this is a very steep trail, and I'm carrying a heavy load. Oh my gosh, we gotta go way up there. We made it to the top and Raya is still asleep. See this cool little bridge, Ron? I like this little bridge. I think spring is definitely the best time to come because all these wildflowers seriously make the trail like really pretty. If you can see, like there's wildflowers and then I don't know if you can see the rocks like out there, that's lava rock. And then that is Mount McLaughlin, which is a snow-capped volcano. Blaine's looking so cool in his sunglasses. Do you feel cool? No. No. <laughs> yeah, Raya is still sleeping. She is really tired because she did not sleep good last night and then she has been fighting sleep all day today. I've tried to get her to take a nap so many times like before we left, she just would not sleep. There's a cute little pool over here, natural pool. This is cute. See all the lava rock in this little pond area? Oh no, there's a frog. There's another one. Yeah. I wanna touch See, it. There's the frog there's right there. There's another one. Oh! Uh -huh. there's the frogs like me, especially the green one, because when I put my hand in the water, I was, uh, I was like, uh, and then it like, it didn't even run, it just jumped it on It hopped my on head. your hand? Aww. I touched the frog on the leg and it jumped off my uh, hand oh, into the water. It. Yeah, I went back into the water. Oh, I'm starting to see some pretty stuff. Look, you can see a view of the city of Medford. It's weird how you can see like the city of Medford with like McLaughlin looming above it. It's kind of Pompeii-ish. 
Raya is beginning to stir bit by bit. I can hear her, I can feel her moving around every once in a while. So she's probably going to wake up just in time to see the pretty view. Your foot's hurting really bad. I would carry you on my back, but I've already got one, one baby on my back. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you, do, I think Blaine might need a piggyback ride. He's limping. No, I'm fine. She woke up happy saying, hey. He's <laughs> like, where am I? I don't know if you can see her back there. Hey, Raya. Hey. <laughs> really, really rocky over here. She's back here like she's straining to see. Where are we? That's really pretty. That's the Rogue River right there. And yeah, this is the city of Medford. <gasps> there she is. The tallest girl in the world. Hey, you're awfully close to the edge. Blaine, get back. Don't you know he's scared of cliffs and stuff? Yeah, he says he's scared of cliffs and then sits right on the edge of one. Like, that's a straight down drop. Raya, you took a long nap and now we're up here. Where are we? <laughs> we're enjoying a lovely snack atop this plateau. Except the killer. <laughs> yeah, and there it has a handful of pretzels. We bought pre brought pretzel sticks and bananas, and Raya, of course, has a mum mum. <laughs> Her eyes closed. <laughs> she's enjoying life. She, yeah, she's enjoying life to the fullest. Huh? Well, boys, are you glad we came out? Mm -hmm. We kind of had to force the boys to come out because they didn't want to leave the house. They especially did not want to hike because when we told them it was like a, you know, a hike, <laughs> they didn't want to come. But now that we're out here and the wind feels good and we have a pretty view, everyone's happy. Ryan, you don't like your mum mum on the volcanic rock. One of our viewers lives in Medford and they're always talking about wanting to meet us. <clears throat> so now, whenever I come to Medford, I always think about them. Him, her, I think him. Uh, B as in soul or something like that. I'm not sure. We are heading back on this never ending flat path. Look at Raya, she's having a piggyback ride. Now I have another baby on my back. <laughs> His foot's hurting it because he sprained it in Tennessee. Supposedly it still hurts him. Raya. I never got to hold her. Are you taking a shoulder ride? <laughs> what, you wanted her to ride on your shoulders? I don't know. <laughs> Poor Blaine. All right. With his Take injured foot. Now Blaine's getting a ride on the papa's back. <gasps> oh! Come here. We have a frog, boys! Blaine's got a frog. Oh! Merrick wanted to come back to this pond because all of the frogs and tadpoles. You got one? Oh, it's so tiny. Merrick, come here. Can I breathe? Not yet. See, one of these has legs already. This one right here. Release it. I'm going to. Raya's like, what's going on? <gasps> Two frogs. Look, Raya. <gasps> that one's laying down. Good <laughs> frog. I don't want her to grab it and squish it. I think this is the one that I grabbed earlier that likes me. It's the same frog? I don't know. Oh. The downward descent begins. Josh and Merrick have left us in the wind. Um, they are way ahead of us. I think because I keep stopping to like take pictures and stuff. And there they are. They found a bench. There's a little inchworm on my finger. The cutest little worm. Aww. If silkworms touch poison oak when they get a rash. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully this hike will kickstart my weight loss. Um, in the weight loss, last weight loss video that I made, I said that I wanted to lose 15 more pounds. Well, I did that. I lost the 15 pounds, but then I have been stuck at that weight. Oh, I say stuck, but I really haven't been trying to get past it. I've just maintained for like um, the past month. 
because I don't really watch what I eat. You know, I eat stuff like Kung Pao pasta. But anyway, I've decided I want to lose 10 more pounds. So I'm gonna start losing weight again. We made it. There's the cars over there. Whoop, whoop. Josh and Merrick are nowhere to be found. And that's where we came from. We did it, Blaine. Yeah. Isn't that cool? We were all the way up there. All right, we made it back to the car and I think we are going to get some Mexican food from Senor Sam's. It's kind of like a Subway, but they make burritos in front of you instead of sandwiches. And the burritos are like really big and they're vegetarian and vegan friendly and the food is really good. They have even a salsa bar, so. Well, Senor Sam's is closed. I guess we're going to G Street Sushi. This is like Josh's favorite sushi place. Favorite place to eat in Grains Pass. We got a seat right by the window with the G Street sushi. Hello. Mm. What's <laughs> Bri is eating a cup of Taco Bell beans. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what was everyone's favorite part of the trail, Blaine? Um. The top. The top, the view? Yep. The view. I like the vernal pools with the volcanic rock. I know what Merrick's is. The frogs? Yeah. <laughs> and the peak. And the what? The uh, top cliff. Of uh, the cliff? Yeah. The view. My favorite was all the, the wild flowers the because they were really pretty. <laughs> Rye's favorite was taking a nap. How was America? Josh got some spicy sushi. I got this avocado. This is some non-spicy sushi. If you guys want to try stuff. They are not eating veg vegetarian. They're eating pesca. They're all eating fish. But my stuff is vegan. And Riot is so comfy right now. Okay, we are done stuffing our faces really full. We're heading over to Safeway because Merrick and myself, we are craving some grapes. So we're gonna go get some grapes from Safeway and then we're gonna pick up Josh on the way back because um, we sat over in a corner and the waiter kept forgetting about us so he had to like track down the guy to get the check and pretty much anything we needed we had to track down someone. So. And get grapes after eating all that. It seems as though Josh walked here and found the car without us having to pick him up. What and Blaine mean? wanted kiwis. We finally made it home. It seems like today has been really long. It's been a really long day. So I'm glad to be home. Thank you for turning on that light. Raya is very tired. She was getting so grumpy in that restaurant. She just kept grabbing stuff off the table and throwing it in the floor and if we took everything away to where she couldn't grab it she would cry and it was really annoying i know she's just tired she didn't sleep good last night and she the only nap she took today is when she was sleeping on my back while we were hiking so i know she's tired she just ate a bunch because she was crying i'm like here eat more eat more but anyways probably gonna put her in bed soon and i'm gonna go ahead and say oh see ya